God died on the cross. He sacrificed his life for those who were. God died on the cross. He sacrificed his life for those who will accept and believe in him to be their Lord and Savior. Are you ready to trade your life with his life? Do you believe this perfect love feels for you? His word said, Whoever receives Jesus has no condemnation and he is forgiven. All the sins that were recorded in the book of your life in heaven have been erased. Because the perfect record of Jesus will be given to those who turn away from the sins and accept him. I hope you have a clear understanding of God's gift for you now. I encourage you all to receive this gift. It is the most important thing and decision we need to do in this life because without him, this is the truth. All our achievements in life will be useless when we stand before God in the judgment day. We will all end up in distractions and turn separation from our Creator. But if we will truly accept and believe this truth, all the things we will go through in life, pain or gain, hardships or happiness, our final destinations is being with Jesus in heaven forever. So if we stop here on earth now, it doesn't matter. We will live in heaven forever anyway. He loves you so much. He surrendered everything for you. Would you truly accept Him today? There's no way to get out, to get to the Father but through Jesus. There's no religion or God or, or good acts can save us. God provided a way, the only way. God doesn't want to believe you. He wants a relationship with you personally. He wants a relationship with all of you. This is the truth about the birth of Jesus Christ. When you truly believe this, then the celebration of party will be so meaningful for you. Meaningful for you. This is all about Jesus. I hope at least one of you listened to that uh, message because um, this is the gift of God for you all. So we can all stand up now. And I just want to bless this uh, party and give the opportunity for those people who want to see Jesus in their lives for the first time to receive them as their Lord and Savior. This will change your life. This for me, I used to believe in Jesus, but it didn't really change my life. You know, um, if we believe if we really believe in Him, then we should follow what He wants for us to do. And that's the first thing He wants us to do is to receive Him, to really believe Him, believe in Him, and accept Him in our lives. For us to be, uh, for us to be changed, for us to be to see the true gift of God. So here we are. Just repeat after my, after me for those who want to see Jesus right now. Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your words. Thank you for your gift. And thank you for dying on the cross for me. I surrender to you now and I accept you as God and my Savior. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. I want you, to, I want you now in my life and change me. Help me to love you with all my heart, soul, and strength. And help me to love those people around me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And God, I just pray for this party, Lord, that you will bless this, and you will bless the food, you will bless everyone here in this room, and that you will um, allow them, Lord, to uh, fully understand who you are, and who you are, and uh, that they will experience your love, oh God. And I just pray, Lord, that this, this party and this celebration will will have a purpose and will not be done in vain, but will be done for your glory. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well done. I took the risk because um, she said, she said, just make it short. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can share.